Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today I have a wonderful design team project to share with you guys for Angel Dreams Crafts Kim on Etsy. And if you're not familiar with Kim's store, I do have links listed below in the description box, so make sure you open them up. Kim does sell wonderful laces, trims, embellishments, bling, doilies, appliques, flowers, papers, some of her own handmade items in her store. Um, so again, I do have that link in the description box. I also have links for her Instagram account where she does show some of her upcoming products that she'll be selling in her Etsy store. Also links for her Facebook group. And then I also have links for the other ladies who are participating on her design team. And I know they would love to have you go and check out their channels. I also have links for some of my past projects that I've done for Kim's store. And of course, if you missed them the first time around when I posted them on YouTube, I would love to have you go back and check out some of those. And for today's project, when I initially sat down to work on this project, in my head, I had envisioned a wall hanging with pockets, and so I was gonna use this kind of vintage looking material, and then Kim had sent in my design team package these beautiful square doilies, and so I had envisioned these pockets on this wall hanging, and then when I started cutting the material to make the wall hanging, I thought, oh, this would make a really cute little pocket folder type thing, and so that's what I ended up doing instead. So I just kind of love how sometimes you start with a vision and it changes into something better. And so again, this is kind of like a little pocket folder. It's a fold when you open it up, it looks like a folder so you can stick some fun things inside of the pockets on the inside. And so again, I did start off with some base material and I folded it over and there's also a layer, I think it's called a pellon in the middle just to give it some stability, but you could also use like felt or something like that. Um, in the middle and once I had completed that I went ahead and started embellishing it and the first thing I added again was this beautiful square doily and I still have another one that she left in in the design team package I received four of these and they do did come together as two so um, you could either cut them apart or leave them like this and so you can see I just wrapped it around the whole back of this so um so you can see how pretty it looks just like this. And then on the front side, I went ahead and added some layers to it. And then also, if you check out one of our design team members, um, Karen, I know that she also created something with, with this doily this month. So you can also check her channel out if you're interested to see what she created with, with that. And then from there, I went ahead and I added one of Kim's doilies on top. And these doilies are really fun. Um, so what... It, did it originally look like was something like this with the flower in the middle and so what I did is I ended up cutting out the flower part of it in the middle or the middle piece and then I kind of manipulated it because I knew I wanted to use this image there and so I manipulated it a little bit just to to make it the shape that I wanted so that you could see the doily on the outside of the photo and so I did go ahead then and add this digital image which I believe comes from Artie Mays and I stuck it on top of a piece of felt just to lay, to layer it up just a little bit. I went ahead and added some teardrop trim for my stash and then also in this corner is my own little flat back pearl. And then from there I went ahead and since I had cut out the middle of that doily and I thought this would make a perfect beautiful flower, I did stick that right here in the corner. And I went ahead and added some bling that comes from Kim Shop. One of my favorite blings. It's a nice size and it has the pearls and the rhinestones in it. And then I went ahead and also added Kim Carey's some ribbon roses in different colors in her shop. And so I did add these because they match the flowers in her hat. And I added some little pearls to the center of them. And I can kind of show you what those look like without the pearls, which they're really lovely without the pearls. But I just went ahead and added the pearls to the middle because I wanted it to kind of match little bl the bling that I added right here and then as you can see that's what the bling piece looks like so it's a really good size and then the other embellishment that I added from Kim store um, she does carry beautiful charms in her store and she had these really cute perfume bottles They're, they were in pink and white and so here's the pink one and I went ahead and added a white one right down here underneath the flower and then the other item that I went ahead and also added is 
Kim does have some cotton trim in her store and that's what this one looks like. And so there were leaves on this one that were right here and you can see I cut them out. And so I did dye them and added them kind of underneath. I wanted them to match the leaves of these little ribbon roses. And you can see the little the little charm. And then I hung that on a gourd or a bulb pin, which Kim does carry those in her store also. And I added a couple of pearls to that. I'll just show you the rest of it kind of up close so you can kind of check it out. And then once I kind of completed that, I kind of finished it off. I did add some trim that wrapped around on the edges. And this cot black cotton trim is from my own stash along with the black ribbon. But up at the top, Kim does sell this beautiful trim, this floral trim. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. It's really fun trim to cut apart and use the little pieces. And this does come in white, but I went ahead and tea dyed it because I did want it to look a little bit more vintage. And so I added that across the whole top of my little folder. And then I went ahead and added some flat back pearls to it. And then at the bottom, I wanted to add some dangles to it. And you can see the back layer of dangles right here is this nice coffee colored dangle. And Kim carried this in her store um, a while ago. Hopefully she'll get some more dangles in like this again in her store. She had it in pink, white, and then this kind of vintage coffee color. And I just love it. It was some that I purchased from her store. And then, um, so I layered that on the bottom. And then I went ahead and added this beautiful trim that I got, I believe, in my design team package from Kim's store. And it looks like this. This one's also a fun one to cut up and use the bits and pieces. But I used it kind of as a dangle at the bottom. And I went ahead and added some flat back pearls into the middle of the flowers. And again, I wrapped both of those laces around the back side. And then from there I went ahead, I had just a little bit of this rosette trim that was in my stash. So I went ahead and added that on top of there. And I think that's everything on the front that I wanted to talk about with you guys. And so I'm gonna open it up so you can check out the inside. And again, this is kind of like a pocket folder. And I was gonna stick something in the pockets, but I forgot to do that before I sat down to film. So you guys will just have to envision something fun in there, like a little journal or a little notebook or goodies for a friend. You could stick some laces or something in the pockets if you wanted to. I would wrap them around something, but you could stick some laces in the pocket. And so on the inside, um, if you check out the bottom, again, you can see that coffee colored trim, long dangle hanging out. And then I added, went ahead and added this other beautiful trim and I think I have a sample of that here from Kim's store. And that's what it looks like again. And I went ahead and also coffee dyed this one. So it has a little bit of that vintage feel to it. And I went ahead and added some pearls to the ends of the little teardrop shapes right here. And then I used the rest of my rosette trim up on the top of that. And then if you look at the actual pockets, Kim does carry this beautiful sheer trim in her store. And I'll show you the sample of that one. It's a nice white color. And again, I went ahead and coffee dyed it. So here's like a little sample that I cut off to try to see what it would look like if I coffee or tea dyed it. Um, just so you can kind of compare the colors. Cause I just wanted it to be not so stark white. I just wanted it to be a little bit of a vintage color and it turned out beautiful. I, I can't believe that this, I wasn't even sure if the sheer trim would work, but it did, it did hold the tea dye nicely. And so you can kind of see that and I know it really blends in on the camera, but um, you can see that I use that for my pockets. And again, you can stick your fun little trims in there or something. And then in the middle, I just use some black trim that I had in my stash just for the middle. And then again, up at the top, I use some more of that fun flower tr daisy trim that she had and added some flat back pearls to the middle of that. But this was a really fun project that I worked on. It took me about a day to complete this project. But I love how it turned out. It's such a fun way to gift someone um, gifts. Like I said, I would, I'm would. i probably going to add like a little journal or a little notebook and then a couple other fun little goodies inside the pockets when I gift it to the recipient. But I did want to show you guys what this 
looked like and how it turned out. I'm thrilled. Um, like I said, it exceeded my my vision that I had. So um, whenever that happens, um, it just makes me smile inside. Thank you again, everybody, so much for watching today. If you're interested in any of the products that I use from Kim Shop, again, don't forget to open up the description box. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a beautiful day and happy crafting.